Nakawa West Member of Parliament, Honorable Joel Senyonyi, was recently confronted by a group of women in his constituency who demanded to know why he had abandoned and forgotten about them altogether. Now, Joel Senyonyi had gone to the constituency with the Lands Minister, Honorable Sam Mayanja, to intervene into the land wrangle that's about to affect more than 2,000 residents. However, later, after the meeting, this group of women confronted Honorable Joel Senyonyi, asking him why he forgot about them after voted into office. Sindika <laughs> 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 Well, however much Honorable Joel Senyonyi was confronted by these women, I still feel like he's among the members of parliament who have really done well in the house this year, performance-wise. To me, he's really been outstanding. I don't know what you think about him, but honestly speaking, to me, I feel like Joel Senyonyi has been among the members of parliament who have been outstanding in the house. But also the problem with we Ugandans, sometimes we tend to think that these members of parliament are there to give us money, buy us food, construct roads and schools, and yet these are not their responsibilities, by the way. But I think Honorable Joel Senyonyi is a very dedicated member of parliament. He will definitely address the issues that were raised by this group of women in his constituency. Otherwise, right here on The Buzz UG, we wish him good luck. Now, recently, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, the president of NUP, requested each NUP member of parliament to at least return one Ugandan among those stranded in the Middle East countries. 
Now, the deputy spokesperson of NUP, Alex Waiswa Mufumbiro, has revealed that only three members of parliament, that is Honorable Abubakar Kawadia, Honorable Mwanda Ngunyinji, and Honorable Joel Senyonyi, have responded to Bobby Wine's call. Now, according to reports in the media, other members of parliament are quietly complaining about Bobby Wine asking for money from them, and yet they also have financial demands in their constituencies. Now, Mulengira News quoted one member of parliament from Bobby Wine's camp. Did we join the party and parliament to become ATM machines? Why are they harassing us every now and then? Why should we be financing someone who boarded a plane to go and work? This is too much. Enough is enough. Well, this statement was said by one of the NUP members of parliament that Mulengira News has chosen to keep anonymous. But I don't see why these people are complaining because Bobby Wine contributed 10 million towards this struggle of bringing back these Ugandans to their country. And actually this shows you how unique Bobby Wine is because if it was about complaining, I don't think NUP would be where it is right now. But because he's a very dedicated guy, that is why the party is still moving and that is why Ugandans have decided to trust him, you know. But these members of parliament, a very small thing, make them complain just like that. But anyway, Anyway, that's the situation in the NUP camp and uh, in case you have anything on your mind about these stories just put it down in the comment section and most importantly subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo aka Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.